Hello everyone, it's Raina. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I share my experience and my thoughts about depression, anxiety and panic attacks in the hope of helping you, especially if you're struggling with any kind of mental health issues. In my last video, I was telling you why it is important for our well-being to say no to situations that bother us and make us feel uncomfortable. If you haven't watched it yet, I'll link it here for you in the corner and down below in the description box as well. Why is it so important to set boundaries with people? And what are boundaries anyway and how to set them? Before we move on, what do you think about setting boundaries? Please let me know in the comments down below. Now, let me try to explain in six steps. One, boundaries are the limits you set with others. You will have different limits and different boundaries depending on the person you're interacting with because two, they are your way of acknowledging what makes you uncomfortable, resentful or upset. When you set your boundaries, it will be clear for yourself and for others what you tolerate and what you don't. Which is three, a way to protect yourself. How? by not allowing or tolerating certain negative behaviors that might be bothering you and bringing you down. If you are struggling with depression or any other mental health issues, you need positive and upbringing people around you, not the opposite. This way, for the boundaries you set will allow you to create and maintain healthy relationships with your friends, your family members and your coworkers. Let's say if someone is behaving a certain way with you, without the intention of hurting you or even without knowing that this behavior is hurtful to you, then when you set your boundaries, chances are your relationship with this person will evolve to the better for both of you. Five, setting your boundaries is your way of acknowledging that your needs and desires are as important as other people's. Any relationship, be it romantic, professional, between friends or with your coworkers or your family members, is a two-way street. And so is the respect for your mutual boundaries. So if you want others to respect your needs and your desires, you need to set your boundaries. Six, this is also a very healthy way to build your self-esteem and your self-worth, especially if you're struggling with mental health issues. Listen, when I was in depression, I had a really low self-esteem. Actually, no, scratch that. I had a non-existing self-esteem. I thought I didn't deserve anything good, that I wasn't worthy of love or of happiness or of anything good in life. Therapy and people around me helped me realize that that wasn't true. We are all worthy of love, happiness, support and positive emotions. Once you understand that, you'll understand that you have the right to have certain desires and needs, that you don't tolerate negative behaviors towards you and so you are entitled to set your boundaries. Can you relate? Please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and you found it helpful. If you did, please support me with a big thumbs up. Also, make sure you subscribe to my channel and click on the little bell so you get a notification when I upload a new video. And until then, take care of yourselves both physically and mentally. Bye!